So, is data science for you? In order to answer this question, it's important that you're aware of three things. Firstly, what exactly is data science? Do so you have a good idea if it matches your interests? Secondly, how to become a data scientist to see if you have the necessary skills and or are willing to do what it takes to become one. And thirdly, what does data science as a job look like? You know, what is the relative happiness, salary, and how does it compare to other jobs? I hope to answer these questions in this episode. Centuries ago, our collection and analysis of data was very limited. Often handwritten surveys would be sent out to assess the general welfare of a society to decide if certain projects should go ahead and much more. This would give useful information to government bodies and therefore add value to society. And often people get paid to carry out these surveys, analyze the data and give advice to leaders. Over the past 20 years, due to the rapid evolution of technology, societies have been collecting and analyzing data more than ever before. In a wider range of sectors such as geographical data, cultural data, scientific, financial, statistical, meteorological, natural, and so on and so forth. From studying data by looking at trends and implementing algorithms to find patterns within the data, we're able to answer more complex questions such as, what are the chances tomorrow is going to rain? What football players should I recruit for my team? What next decision should I make for my business? Or even, what are the chances you're going to finish watching this YouTube video? So just as 100 years ago, we're finding useful information to add value to society, in today's era, mostly through business. So data science is essentially the means in which we obtain this useful information from studying data at great depth. It is only recently since 2008, since the rapid evolution in computer science, mathematics, and algorithms that has enabled us to study data to such a great depth and obtain so much useful information that the field became a science in itself. And this was first recognized in 2001 by William S. Cleveland in the book, Data Science. So how do you become a data scientist? The most traditional route is to do a degree in a technical subject, such as maths, computer science, statistics, and so on, and then go on to do a master's and PhD in closely related subjects of data science, such as machine learning or AI, and then later apply for data science jobs. There are, however, many other ways to become a data scientist, one where you don't even have to go to university, given that you have enough drive and discipline to succeed in the field. So more people than ever are self-studying data science, building their knowledge and skills through online courses and competitions. The two most famous online platforms are Coursera, for building your knowledge in data science, and also there are some practical aspects there, and, and Kaggle, which is primarily built for competitions in data science. And hopefully my, my YouTube channel will build knowledge and skills for you guys that will also be useful for when you're later apply for a data science job. More and more employees are becoming aware of the immense skills and knowledge individuals can obtain through online courses, competitions, and self projects. So a degree in a technical subject does not hold as much weight as it used to, and more employers are allowing applicants without any higher education qualifications to apply. So in summary, to become a data scientist, you have two options. Either take the traditional route of doing a degree, a master's and PhD, all in technical subjects related to mathematics, statistics, or computer science, or you can self-teach yourself through online courses and doing, doing well in competitions such as Kaggle and proving your skills to employers during the interview. If financial comfort is a goal of yours or something that you seek in a job, here is a table looking at the median salary of a data scientist and comparing it to the country's median salary of all jobs. So on average, the median salary of the data scientist is almost twice that of the country's average. The demand for data scientists have grown significantly over the past several years by around 30 to 45%, so we can expect this salary to keep, to keep increasing. But as the old age saying goes, money cannot buy happiness. So how happy are data scientists? To answer this question, we're going to look at a company called Glassdoor, which is a massive online recruitment company that gathers mass data on different jobs and ranks them according to median salary, job satisfaction, and amount of job openings. Data scientists consistently placed in the top 10 careers, often with the highest job satisfaction, and is placed first in the US for four years in a row from 2015 to 2019. It is important to note, however, and it can be assumed that the majority of individuals surveyed have a real dedication and passion for the field, which is important for you to develop to achieve the same job, job satisfaction. In conclusion, data science has consistently been placed as one of the best jobs in the world in terms of job satisfaction and salary. With a passion and dedication for mathematics, problem solving, and a creative mindset, data science can be a great career choice for you. I hope this video gave you a good insight as to whether data science is for you, and if the answer is yes, please stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.